Okay, so today we will be checking out the ZRID Light Remote ID module. This module is an external module that allows you to attach to a drone externally. It contains its own battery. It broadcasts RID signal by itself. It is under $100 US. And most uniquely, this is quote unquote made in the United States. And in this video, let's briefly review what you get in the box and the simple specification. We will also do a walkover of the initial setup process. And lastly, we will share some of my final thoughts about this. By the way, this kit was manufactured by the company Zing, and they are kind enough to send me one of the modules to review. So thank you very much, Zing. All right, let's just jump right into it. First of all, let's look at what you get in the box. So obviously, you are going to get your Zing module. So this is an all-in-one module. I don't think there is much you have to attach to it. And then you are going to get accessory pack, which contains USB-A to USB-C. This is mainly just for charging purpose. You're also going to get three Velcro pads, which is pretty good, as this will allow you to transfer your module around different drones. And as for the specification wise, this module has a dimension of 43 times 38 times 18. They're all in millimeters, so it is quite okay. It's not too big, not too small. And as for the weight, it's about 35 grams, which is to me, I think this is kind of on the heavier side. And besides these two, I don't think there is much that we need to talk about as yeah, this is just a simple module. So let's just jump right into the setup process. Before we begin the setup process, let's briefly look at the design. The design of this module, as you can see, is very, very minimalist. You only get one switch right here and a charging port right here and two little LEDs. So one switch, one port and two LEDs. So very simple. So when you are flipping the switch open, when you are flipping the switch to the other side, it basically powers up the module. And when you power up the module, the Z module will already be broadcasting RID signal, but it will just be broadcasting the signal and the serial number, but it will not have a name attached to it. Therefore, in order to be fully compliant to the remote ID, you will need to go to the FAA website listed below to register device under your name. Before that, it would just be a signal without a person, which you could potentially play with it if you don't want your name be printed on, this, on the website. But yeah, to make it clear, this is not advice, I'm just saying. So, okay, let's just jump to the computer to register this module onto the FAA website. Okay, so now we are at the FAADroneZone.com. Basically, if you wanted to go click the link below, you can. So we're gonna log into our account. Oops. Okay, you have to agree to it and you're going to launch this pilot dashboard thing and you're going to go into managing your device. You're going to add a device right here. So do you, does your drone broadcast every remote ID information? Then yes, you're going to just select this as a remote ID broadcast module and the nickname we're just going to say this is Zing. So for the manufacturer, UAS manufacturer, we are just going to enter Zing as well. And the UAS model number, we can just say Zing remote ID, RID. And then the most important part is you are going to come here and you are going to enter the remote ID serial number. This you can find it on the side of your module. Each module has a different number and you're just gonna say add device. And this device is now connected to your, uh, basically your account. Okay, so that's just done. Let's go back to the bench for the next step. Okay, so we are back to the bench and we are now completed and all set to go. Now we're gonna be doing a quick demo as of how it works. As mentioned priorly, there is only one switch. So powering on this module only requires you to flip the switch right here. It's gonna take about one or two seconds for the lights to light up. So you can see that currently we have two LEDs and I'm gonna tell you what they mean. So if you look at the right one, there's gonna be a little battery icon right here. So this is basically the battery indicator. So if it's not, I don't, I don't know what percentage because I haven't charged it since I receive it. So it should be red when it's not full and it will go to green when you, it is fully charged. I will probably charge this tomorrow just to make sure that is correct. So the one on the left side, this is going, when you open it, it should automatically go to yellow light. So when it's at yellow, it's an indication that it's trying to search for a GPS signal to connect. And 
When once it's connected to the GPS signal, it should turn green. And based on the Zing manual, you should always wait until the yellow light goes to green and take off. That's when you are actually broadcasting signal. As I'm currently indoors and it's hard to get a GPS lock, we're going to move outside to see how long does the module take to receive a GPS lock. Let's get going. Okay, so we're at my front yard right now. We're just gonna power it on and leave it on the floor to see how long actually it will take for it to get GPS signal. Okay, so at 34 seconds, the light has turned green, and which means that this has already gone to into GPS lock. Since we're done, let's head back. Okay, so we're back at the bench again. So let's briefly talk about some of my final thoughts about the Z module. So the Z module, by just holding it, you can probably already tell that this is something that is well-built, has good quality, and should last for a long while. So this is made by plastic, but comparing the plastic to the previously Holy Stone module that we review, you can probably just tell by looking at it, this is going to be much, much better. However, this does come at a cost, which the whole, which the Z module is going to be about $10 expensive than comparing to the Holy Stone module. And the plastic is going to be thicker, which and you're going to have a little bit additional parts in there, which is going to make the module a little bit heavier actually much heavier this is at 35 grams which in the fpv world 35 grams is a lot of weight so i probably will not be able to use this on my quads unless today i'm operating a 7 inch or 10 inch drone which is big enough that i can just ignore the additional weight but besides that probably i won't be able to use it However, just to be fair, the Z module, I would say, was never meant for the FPV hobby, but more towards and designed for the commercial side of camera and heavy lifting drones like the DJI Inspire or the DJI Matrice or some other brands that does not have the remote function built in that you need the remote ID to work with. And when it becomes at this level of sizing, like as of drone, when it's so big, 35 grams, it's not going to matter at all. And having something you can simply just attach to your drone without needing to open anything up, I will say it's quite convenient. And we don't need it, simply just remove it from the drone. Also, with this in mind, theoretically, we we'll only need one Zing module for your fleet. As long as they are not taking off at the same time, you can just attach it here, there, here, there. And you just need one module to be compliant for all your fleet. Anyway, with all these I have just said to the Zing module, what is my bottom line of this? So... First of all, I wanted to say whether if you wanted to comply remote ID or not, it is still completely up to you. But if you are the one pilot that wants to comply or trying to see if you can comply, then getting the Zing module might make sense if you are flying camera drones. But if you are in the FPV hobby, I would say the Zing module is still too heavy. You can still probably get a better result by soldering on your own remote ID chip. Okay, so if you think the Zing Remote ID module is something that you might have interested, or you, you see this is a good fit for your gig, then you can check out their website at below. It is an um, affiliated link, so feel free to click it or not. All right, any questions, please leave it at the comment section, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.